Rich, congratulations. What a famous evening at the Eco Power. Yeah, you know, look, um, so proud of the boys. You know, we, we spoke all week about just, you know, putting a lot of energy into that first 10 minutes and see what happens, you know, and then, you know, take each, like, each 10 minute spell as it, as it is and, you know, can't fault the performance from, you know, 1 to 17, really. I think you've said all season that we're still waiting for that complete performance. Did you get that tonight against probably one of, if not the best team in the league? Defensively, certainly, but, you know, second half, I thought we turned off a too many cheap, you know, cheap errors um, and, and give them field position and they're a dangerous team and we scrambled so well and uh, I thought, like I said, defensively, we, we dealt with their shifts comfortably um, and they threw a lot at us. I was going to say, when people look at the scoreline, they might think Toulouse had a bit of an off night, I didn't have much of the ball, but it was completely on the contrary there, wasn't it? And especially at the end, when Robbo's kick went on the fall and it was nervous times, but the lads dug deep. They do, yes, again, you know, we spent our most of the majority of the time in our half defending. Um, I think we had two good ball sets early doors and scored off them both. Um, and we was hanging in there, we were. We was just working so hard defensively and committing numbers to the rook so we could slow it down. Because you know, if they get any rook tempo um, with, with, with Ashall Bot and all them lot in there, they're just so fast, they, they're hard to deal with. And I thought our middle were, were outstanding. I thought Jason Tarley as well, I thought he had his best game this season. Guzzi's growing into that full-back role, it's ticking along nicely isn't it, at the business end. Yeah, well look, there's competition for spots all over, so everybody has to be good to keep the spot and, you know, he's give us some food for thought now, you know, going into the Whitehaven game. Mm. And Craig Hall did a bit of an Ollie Watkins moment, then he came on with seconds to go and scores the winner. That's it, yeah, planned, you could, you could say, but no, look, Craig always puts himself in a position to, you know, receive the ball or give yourself an opportunity to score and, and, and he did that and, you know, um, it looks like a bit of a masterclass substitution but um, no look he, 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 we spoke about him working hard and he did that you know to be in and around where the, the ball was um, you know yeah look I thought we was hardly done to by their last try um, I thought it was forward by two or three metres you know and, and but they got away with it and you're looking at it going have we missed out again after last week um, but you know they come up with some and yeah fantastic result and finally a tough trip to Cumbria next week how important now is it to build against a team who's doing it tough on and off the field they'll be up for the fight won't they because they don't know how long they maybe have left yeah certainly and uh, we've spoke to the boys already about you know if we get the result at week and we're looking up rather than we're looking forward rather than behind us um, and we're pushing for them playoffs